Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Wendy Jo and we are back in the office today recording a full tutorial on how to set up an e-commerce website and do retail drop shipping. So if you've been wanting to start a business from home that causes zero dollars to get started, stick around and I'll show you how. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Wendy Jo, and we are here today to go through a step-by-step -step course on how to create a successful dropshipping business with zero dollars. This is a completely free course for you. I started this channel to do just that, to provide free education so that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on courses. I have 25 years of experience working from home and I have eight streams of passive income. I've made it my mission to educate other moms and really anyone who wants to earn passive income from home or bring in extra income. Because of all my content being free, all I ask in return is that you hit that subscribe button, like this video, which will help me be able to reach more people with my free education. So 25 years ago, I became a mom and I knew that I wanted to stay home with my kids. I wanted to be there so that I didn't miss those first steps, first smiles, first giggles, any of those types of things. And so I started trying to figure out how I could bring in money from home. So I started with a company that I created called Tushy Totes, which was diaper bags that I made myself. And then I sold them at craft fairs. And it was a fun business and it was very practical for me because I got to make myself all kinds of cute diaper bags, ended up making purses for people as well. And it, it was a lot of fun, but it was not passive. It took a lot of work and there was a lot of frustration of times of sewing when I wanted to play with the kids and those types of things. And so I moved on. Um, I did a company called Party Light where I sold candles at home, home shows. Um, I did Mary Kay. And then thankfully for all of us, technology advanced and I was able to start exploring what the world of computers and online business could mean for me. So I started experimenting with drop shipping and retail arbitrage, running online businesses to sell products, my YouTube channels, obviously, anything and everything that I could think of to earn passive income. And in the process, I was able to grow multiple streams of passive income. And in just the last two years, we have brought in nearly a million dollars from those streams of income, which is just insane to me. Like I, it blows my mind. So this channel was created to simply share all of that I've learned with you for free. I have noticed that during the pandemic, there's a lot of scammers out there and I don't want you to waste your money. Um, it's hard enough to start a business as it is. And so, you know, didn't want you to fall for any of the scammers out there. So let's get into this free course. So the first thing we're going to cover in this course is the basics. What is drop shipping and is it right for you? And, you know, we'll explore just the details of drop shipping and see if it's a fit for who you are and what you're wanting to do. The second thing we're going to look at is products. So how do you find products to sell? and where do you find those products to sell? So I'm gonna cover some of my favorites there. And then we're gonna go into building a website. I'm gonna show you how you can come up with your business name and your business logo, and then create a website to sell the products that you have found that you want to sell. Finally, we'll get into marketing. We've never paid for ads. We do not pay for ads. We do organic marketing with our company, and I will show you my favorite way to do that. You do not have to show your face and if you don't want to. So that is something, it's a little scary for people, that marketing side of things, but we'll get into that and I will show you how we have done it and been successful. Finally, at the end, we'll talk just a little business 101, things like, do you need an LLC and the dreaded tax talk, which side note, this will not be financial advice. I am not a tax advisor. You should speak to an accountant about anything related to taxes and finances, but I will just share from my experiences what we've learned through the years. So what is drop shipping? The drop shipping model is pretty simple. You are the store there in the middle and a customer comes to your online store, finds a product they want to buy and they purchase it. Then you forward that order onto your wholesaler where you found the product for less than what the customer paid you and they process the order and have it shipped directly to your customer. So in this example, the customer paid $200 for a product you kept $50 in profit and the other 150 you paid to your supplier who took care of everything else. 
It is a very passive source of income. So is drop shipping for you? Well, no inventory is a huge bonus. So if you don't want to carry inventory, whether you don't have space or you don't have the finances to put into buying inventory, this is a great option for you because there's zero money to start with drop shipping. It's one of the biggest advantages for beginners and why a lot of people get into this. It may not be a great long-term solution for you if you're wanting to really build wealth and have a longevity of multiple six figures, but it is a great place to start and figure out how this whole online world works and definitely bring in quite a bit of passive income along the way. The other thing about it, besides the fact that it's passive, is that it is going to require a little bit of research, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do that research. And it isn't very time consuming. Once you get the hang of it, you know what to look for. It's pretty quick and easy to do that part of it. And then lastly, marketing is very helpful, but I will show you how to do it for free. So I think that's probably the biggest hang up that people have is, okay, I, you know, I found a product I want to ship. I found all the things, but I don't know how to tell people that I'm actually carrying it. And I don't really want to tell my friends and family that I'm selling this. And I'm here for you on that. I will show you how we've done it and built successful businesses. With products, you are going to need to figure out what is hot, what is selling. And I'm going to take you and show you exactly how we research and figure out what products are trending and then turn around and show you how to find those products and how to figure out if it's going to be a good fit for you. So let's jump into that and I'll share my screen with you and show you how that works. Now, I'm going to show you a website that you can go to to kind of figure out what is um, trending and help you figure out a product that you might want to sell. So this is TikTok Trends. You're just gonna type that in the Google search and you're gonna come down here to this one that's ads.tiktok.com. You're gonna click that. And I already have an account set up in here, so I'm actually going to exit out of this window and come over to this one that I already have open. And then what I did is I clicked on Top Ads Dashboard and, what, and then it's, set to United States and you can choose an industry if you already kind of have an idea of what industry you want to look for a products in. And then you can just go through and you can see which top, which ones are the top ads. So uh, this is set to the last seven days. You could do as much as the last 30 days if you want to, um, but I'm gonna start with just the last seven days. Um, click through rate means the most, it got the most clicks when it ran. So if you click this, then it's gonna tell you who got the most clicks on their thing. So like here's Pure Bro, Pure something, some sort of skincare. Um, there is, you know, clothing, there's weight loss, all kinds of different products that were trending. Um, you can also do reach, which, you know, who, who got the most traffic from their listings. And some of these are obviously commercials, but, and these are ads that people have paid for. We, again, don't pay for ads. Like the thing about TikTok is it pushes out your video. If you create good content, whether or not you're paying for ads or not. Um, so trendy searches would be gift, Amazon finds, jewelry, Black Friday. Um, obviously those are true. And then you can put in a keyword, household. household products. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So here's something that looks like it is a drop ship type item and it looks like it's just a reusable silicone type, um, liner. So let's look at the analytics on that. This has had some really good uh, traction, like a lot. So this would be something that you could sell on your website. So now what you would want to do, this is obviously just an example, but then what you would want to do is you would want to research this product. So we're going to open another tab and we're going to go to aliexpress.com. Some other websites that you can use for drop shipping are alibaba.com as well as CJ Dropshipping. The US drop because they actually charge 
and there's a couple of other ones out there, but I pretty much stick to Alibaba and AliExpress with AliExpress being my favorite. So I love AliExpress because you have the option to um, select the shipping coming from the United States. And when it comes from the United States, it's going to decrease that shipping time. Because I know Alibaba, you do have, uh, there are options on Alibaba where you can get things a lot faster. And I'm gonna show you that too. But so let's look for um, air fryer liners. Um, okay, so here they are right here. So these are 99 cents, four dollars and twenty cents. Let's see if there's any that ship directly from the United States. Okay, so those are paper ones, but here's some little silicone ones. Um, five dollars and thirty cents. And it looks like they have some different options. Here's those round ones, um, like we that were on there. Here, there's these. So let's um free shipping. Two sold, two sold, six sold. Um, 11 of these have sold. So let's look at this one. Ships to the United States. Now, I'm, if you look right here, it says from China to the United States. But if you click here, then you can go shipping from the United States to the United States via UPS, estimated delivery time, five to nine days. This is perfect. Uh, so if you click, collect, select that option it's free shipping for you and it's five dollars and thirty cents they just come in sets of two and yeah so this is a great option so okay so let's say you found this product we found it on alibaba for five dollars and thirty cents and we can have it to our customer in five to thirteen or five to nine days isn't that, i think that's what it said let's, let me double check that five to nine days so this is perfect because this, this works for drop shipping. It has a good turnaround time and there's great photos here that you can use on your website to list the product for sale. So a way that you can then go and research what these might be selling for is to go to Amazon and you can search silicone air fryer liners. All right. So they're selling on here for $12.98. Now it's not the exact ones that we found. This set is actually selling for more for $19.97. So this is something that you could buy for $5.30, charge $10 or $11, and you would still be undercutting the, per the people on here that are selling them, and you would be profiting 50% of every sale. And so this would be a great product for you to run with. Now I'm not telling you, go do this one. I'm just giving you an example of how you research it and find what will work. So let's look again, let's try another one. Okay, here's another good one. So this is like a little scraper thingy. So let's click on it and see what the click-through rate is on it. 60 likes. Um, so, I mean, it's not terrible. Um, but again, that's another product that you could do the same sort of research for. Um, if you're more into sports and outdoors, like they're selling kayaks here. We're talking about this kayak, which obviously this time of year, probably not going to get as many um, hits as you would in, you know, May, June, July, August, that type of thing. But it says, what color do you need to add to your collection? And so this would be another product that you could then, I don't even know if they sell kayaks on um, Alibaba or AliExpress, but we can look. Um, kayak. They do. So they sell kayaks on here. And as you can see, there's all different kinds of them. This looks pretty similar to what she had. Um, this one has maybe a little bit more bells and whistles. Um, but for this example, let's um, look at this and just see. That feels like it's a little high price. US, so this, another great deal, you guys, because this would be from the United States to the United States, delivery four to 13 days, free shipping, and again, lots of great pictures, even it on the water, somebody carrying it, which is a little bit more natural here, 
and 152.23. So now let's see what it's selling for on Amazon. I'm a little nervous that this may be a little too high priced, but um, nope. <laughs> So there are kayaks on here selling for lots of money. So this looks very similar to what we just looked at on AliExpress. $419 is what they're selling it for. It has 325 reviews, which is really good. Uh, and so again, this is something if you were going in the outdoors arena that you could turn around and sell. So. I hope that gives you a couple of examples to go on. Obviously, you can just continue to do this until you find something that you are happy with. Another way I'm gonna show you how that you can research these is actually going directly to TikTok. So you can search the hashtag TikTok made me buy it. That's one hashtag that you can search. And then whenever you search that, you can actually filter this on your phone. I, I recommend doing this on your phone because you can filter it based on um, what was uploaded the most recently. So this has 5.8 million views right here. TikTok made me get one for my car. Um, so if we click on this, it's some sort of an electrified comb. I don't even know. <laughs> But if we go to, oh, the heat comb. So they have created an entire channel around the heat comb. So this is a great example of somebody who created a TikTok to sell one product. So now we're gonna go over to AliExpress and we're gonna look for heat comb. And let's see if they have something. Yep, right here. So $8.10, free shipping, gets to your customer in four to 13 days. And this is the exact one that they are showing in that video. Um, so that is how I do my research for products. And it may seem a little unconventional, but TikTok is where people are at, where they're shopping. Uh, if you're not a TikTok fan, the other thing you can do is search Amazon to see what is trending on there. Um, but I can tell you that it's a lot easier to figure out what is trending through TikTok than it is to figure it out through Amazon. Um, there's a couple of other websites that you can also use to see what is trending. Uh, you can use google.com use and look at uh, Google Trends to see what people are searching for. Um, but again, TikTok is just the best research tool out there. Next, we're going to jump into how to build a website. And part of that is finding a business name if you don't have an idea for one and figuring out your logo and those types of things. It doesn't have to be super fancy. And I always encourage people don't get caught up too much in all of this, because when it comes down to it, if you have a pretty simple professional looking website, which you can totally create with this site that I'm going to show you, then it's all those details are not going to matter as much as you think they are. So don't get caught up in all the details because people get bogged down with that. And then they never actually launch because they get so frustrated and discouraged and overwhelmed and overthink everything. So let's jump over to Equid and I'm going to show you how to build a website there. And we're also going to look at these other websites as well so that I can show you how you can come up with a business name and come up with your logo. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you in and show you my favorite website to use to set up your own personal website, and it is completely free. And um, I know there's a lot of them out there, and people tend to run to Shopify because Shopify definitely does a lot of advertising, and people are familiar with it. But um, a couple of years ago, I started using equid.com, and it is the best for getting started for free. You can have a free website with Equid that costs you zero dollars. You can have up to 10 products on there and have an official looking website. So before we set up our Equid site, I'm gonna take you over and show you how to find a business name. So if you watched my other video, 
uh, it is about how to find products on TikTok, which is my favorite research tool, believe it or not. And then they have another um, TikTok ads uh, research tool. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go watch that one. But um, when we were researching, we found a couple of different products. And so for this example, um, we're going to actually do, let's see, let's do the air fryer liners. Um, I love this heat comb, but somebody already has a website set up for it. And um, I don't want to like just completely copy what they're doing. So I'm going to do these silicone liners for um, air fryers, which air fryers are super popular because of how convenient they are. And there are several different options. So you don't have to necessarily use this one in particular, but we're going to use it for today for this example. So let's go over to this website. It's called Luca.com. And you're going to just type in a keyword or industries. Kitchen gadgets. Okay, so we typed in two keywords, kitchen gadgets. And then it's going to come up with all kinds of different names that you could possibly call your new company. So cooking Z, cooking way. Um, I want something that's sort of neutral, meaning that it's not going to lock us into just that one tool. Um, let's see. So you just Let's just take out the gadget, uh, the home, and let's just do gadgets. Um, so go, go gadgets. That's kind of fun. So let's search and see if anybody else is using that name. Go, go gadgets. Go, go gadgets. Um, go, go gadget. Ga oh, go, go gadget. Go, go gadgets. It looks like there is somebody out there using that name. So we can't use that. Um, let's see, grab your gadgets and they have a research tool to generate things on here, but then you have to pay to, um, use their tool. So I'm going to show you another website that you can use to generate a logo for that. I don't know. We'll just go with grab your gadgets. So let's go over here and see if. Grab your gadgets. Somebody is also using that name. So let's look for get your gadgets because, um, okay, it doesn't look like anybody has get your gadgets um, on here. Now that's a pretty broad name. So you may want to um, do something more specific isn't already using. So we're going to go with get your gadgets um, just because that was not taken. And um, so where was that? Let's see, I want to make sure we use the right get your gadgets. So what you're going to do, so they are creating a logo over here for you, but you have to sign up and all that stuff. So I have another website for free called Zarla.com. And now we know our brand name. Get your gadgets and we're going to create a logo. Help us pick your icon and colors. So um, kitchenware, if you want to, if you want it to be more specific or um, home gadgets. Uh, we'll just go with gadget and see what it says. Enter your brand name. Get your gadget. And you can add a slogan if you want to. And you can say, I want to sell products. And you can search for an icon if you want to, or you can just see what they come up with on their own. So I actually kind of like this first one that popped up. It's very like technical looking. Um, this one's kind of cool. Let's see what else. That's nice. So there's a lot of options here. 
And really we're just looking for something simple and catchy. I kind of like this one just because it is, um, it's kind of bright and fun. So you have to remember that, um, let me go with this one. So we're gonna customize this one. And you can play around with this as much as you want, but I wanna try to just work our way through this so that you can see the process. So they've kind of got it designed for you. If you don't like the colors, you can change your colors of your logo here. If you don't like the logo, you want to change up how the logo looks, you can pick from any of these logos that they have over here. So it's pretty, like this is kind of a fun one. And if you choose a different logo, you would just click it and then you would click here and it will change it for you. So get your gadget. You can go over here to the name. You can change the font if you don't like the font. If, if you're happy with it, you can change the color. Um, if you have a slogan, then you can add it here. I don't typically do that. Um, and then it even gives you other color options that might be good for, so this is the one that they're currently using is the abstract mob, but then they give you other options that might also be good for your business. So, you know, get your gadget. And then they even show you how it's gonna look down here. If you were to put it on business cards or whatever you wanted to do. So I kind of liked the original one that they had. So I'm going to go back. So background color, you, you want to have a background color for your actual logo, just because, um, whenever you add it to TikTok, it's going to pop more. If you have a background color, even if it's, you know, something as simple as a gray and this changed up my colors. So I'm going to switch. So anyway, you can play around with it as much as you want until you are happy with what you have created. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna enter your email here and download it and it's gonna send it to you. Now that you have your logo and you have your company name, now you can go into Equid and you can set up a store. Now I recommend that you create a new Gmail for each store that you set up. That way that you can use it um, for customer service and it's not going to be some random email whenever you do have to communicate with a customer about their products. Okay. All right. So I logged into this is a account. I created this account just to have a example place where I could go in and show you guys how to actually do it. You basically just use your email that you've created and you're going to use your, um, you're going to create a password and you'll be set. So when you first get inside of Equid, you're going to have, um, you know, this toolbar over here, you're going to have a to-do list here that shows you exactly, you know, what you're doing. So first, let me show you how you can upload your products. So you're going to go to catalog and go to products. Now on the free account, like I said, you can add up to 10 accounts. When you first click in here, there's going to be a bunch of sample um, products in this and you're just going to select all of those and delete them. They're not real products. Okay, so we're going to add a new product and now we're going to go over, we decided to do these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on these pictures. If you right click um, for some reason, okay, so let's go further down here and we'll actually be able to use their picture. So you're just gonna right click and save the images to your desktop so that you have product images for your website. And a lot of times you can use the words that they have in here to um, add to your description. So you can pull the, the words and stuff directly from um, the website. Okay. So we've downloaded all these pictures and that this is for us, this is our information. But, um, so now what we're going to do is go over to our Equid site and we're going to upload images. Um, the great thing about doing this on your phone is you can screenshot the images. Whereas on this, you really can't. So we're going to do this 
And so now you have all of your images up there. And then we're going to go back to what they call it, two-piece air fryer silicone. So I'm going to copy this, but then we're going to clean it up a little bit because it is um, just a little too wordy. Silicone liners. Reusable. Um, and I'm going to take the two pieces out and put that at the end. Okay, so now it's time for the description. So we're going to go down and see what their description is. We're just going to copy and paste. And if you want to add more words, you can eliminate um, the cleaning, I'll eliminate the time consuming cleaning process with your air fryer. Silicone dishwasher safe silicone liners are the perfect solution um, and I might do a little bit more um, keyword research to see what people actually are searching for when they're searching for this like when I put in um, air fryer um, I think silicone liners like came up so I actually think I would take out the word square um, up here and just leave it air fryer silicone liners okay so now you have this and we're going to go back to key features, copy that. And again, you might wanna proofread. Sometimes the language is not well translated from AliExpress over. So you just wanna kind of read through this and make sure that it looks correct. Um, so once you have that, you don't have to put in a SKU. Um, it requires shipping for pickup. It ha needs to be marked. And I always just kind of put that it's like one pound because I will charge shipping on this. Even though I'm getting free shipping, I will charge my customers shipping on here. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about why I do that later. But um, so then we're going to set a price. And what did we say that we found a price for that um, oh, on Amazon, we found them for $12.99 on Amazon. So we are gonna sell them for $10.99, which we're able to buy them for $5.30 with free shipping. So we're still gonna make $5 on everyone that sells. And if you have a TikTok go viral with these, you could sell 100, 1,000, you know, you just never know. And so we're gonna put them at $10.99. And that is how you upload a product. It's that simple. And then whenever you're, you just hit enabled and it will be ready to go. So that's how you do the product. Now you will want to go down here to shipping and pickup. I guess I need to save it again. Okay. Shipping and pickup. So you can choose what, how to set up your shipping. So we're going to pretend that these aren't here because these are ones that I have done previously. Um, so we're going to add a shipping, shipping set up here. And you can set up a flat rate shipping fee. So instead of them automatically calculating, you're going to set it up just a flat rate fee. And you're just going to do standard shipping. And I typically charge $5. And I told you I would tell you why I charge shipping on here. So if for some reason there is a return that needs to happen, we will refund the cost of the product to them once they return it, but shipping fees are not refundable. Well, if you will remember, this product ships for free and it cost us $5.30. So we're only gonna lose 30 cents if for some reason they need to make a return. Um, and the only reason we allow returns is if the product is damaged or something like that. We don't allow returns otherwise. And you can put that right on your website. Um, you know, all sales are final, something like that. Um, so you're going to set up the standard and 
set that up. So that is set up in your shop now. So you have shipping, um, you will have to set up payments and what payments that you accept. We always use Stripe. It's just very common for people to be comfortable with Stripe, they're used to it. You can also set up Square or PayPal, um, but you'll have to go in and set that up. They will ask for your social security number during the setup process simply so that they can record you getting paid because you will, um, at the end of the year, get a statement of how much money you've collected. Um, so anyway, so that is how you, okay, so we've got shipping and pick, pick up, we've got payment settings, and um, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go over and you're going to design a website settings and look at site templates, and you can choose whichever template you think is going to work for your product. I recommend going with something very clean and simple, um, especially if you're only selling, you know, a couple of products, you just, you don't want it to be overwhelming. Um, I will show you, this is a website that was set up through Shopify. Um, this is not my website, somebody else's, but this is definitely a drop shipper that is doing this. And they have one product. This is what the thing takes you to when you click the link. And it literally has the countdown bar up here, the product color choices, add to cart, the information, and a few reviews, which I will tell you, you can actually go in here, take the reviews from here because it's reviews of the actual product. Um, even though you don't know who the people are, it still is a product review. So, um, you know, you, you take a product review and then you turn around and you can copy that and paste that into your website. Um, so let's just go with, um, let's preview this one and see. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna use this template. And now we're going to change this image and we're going to, if let's say we're just selling this one product on this website, so we're going to use one of our product images. The title here is going to be Get Your Gadget. We're not gonna have a tagline. Um, and then here, you can put something like um, the trending gadgets you need for your home. Okay, that's a terrible picture for your website, but um, actually, you know what? We're going to change the design of this. We're gonna do this instead. Um, and then, so you can play around with this and it's really simple to design though. Um, so you can, put, I would put a different image here, get your gadget, all the trending gadgets you need for your home. The buy now button is here. If you want to just take them straight to um, shopping, then you can eliminate all of this stuff. You can literally eliminate this. You just click on it and hit delete section. Um, this is cover and headline. So you could really even delete this. So delete this. I mean, I would just eliminate most of this because there's no reason to have all of this on there. You're literally gonna have one page with your products on here and that's it. And your footer is where you can add your copyright or whatever. So we've eliminated everything <laughs> except for um, just this one simple um, thing right here and now we can add a couple of sections. So we can do, you can look through here for customer reviews. So I would recommend adding customer reviews. What our customers are saying. And obviously you're gonna change out these reviews to be the ones that you pull from AliExpress. And then you're gonna add another section for frequently asked questions. And this is where you can deal with the, um, 
Do you accept returns and those types of things? So um, delivery and payment. So, I mean, you could put just a delivery info here, but I like the idea of doing an FAQ. Let me see. So this is kind of the closest one that they have. So let's add this. And we're going to just change this to say FAQ. And then, and then you just would go in how fast will I, how fast do you ship? Ship. Um, most orders ship ship within three business days via USPS and then you can change the icon to shipping um, no that is not okay let's let's look at a friendship so let's find an icon that kind of um, we'll do this we'll just do a little shipping how fast do you ship okay so then we're going to go back and change this one on do you Accept returns. We do not accept returns unless the product arrives to you damaged. In damaged, in which case we will refund the price of the product minus the shipping cost. And that is where, again, um, you're able to kind of cover your costs that way. We, in all of our years, have not had returns, like maybe once or twice. Like there's just never been an issue with this, but people always are worried. They're also always worried about packing slips. Now with AliExpress, there won't be a packing slip in there. There will be nothing indicating how much you paid for the product or anything like this. And you can actually like communicate with them on AliExpress and say, hey, I'm a drop shipper. Um, and they will handle all of that. Um, then you know you can just go in and change whatever you think are the frequently asked questions are going to be and then delete the other items you can go in and make sure that you have customer reviews in here and then let's go back to our header and menu um, so you'll change this to your logo so for this i'm going to use the white and black but for tiktok i would use the colored one um, and if you don't want the background to be on there, then you can also um, go into Canva and remove the background from your image. So you have just the, the logo itself. So then you're gonna go in here where you added your one product <laughs> that you got, we're gonna have, and you can change this to say, silicone air fryer liners. and skip the mess then you can change the image and then the shop now button go to store um, you can hit buy now and you can even instead of but only, what did we decide they were? $10.99. And um, so the title is 
64, the design description is 18, so we're going to make this um, 48 so that it just stands out a little bit more. And we're going to make it bold. And we're going to let's see, can we change the color? Yes. Um, I don't know if I want to change the color or not. We'll do kind of a gray. Okay. So we have this set up. So now we can go preview our site. So this is what our site looks like when somebody clicks on buy now. It's going to take them to the store. You can remove the store as well from the um, menu. So the header in the menu store, you can actually remove the store link too, so that it's just super clean. Um, and remove the about section. So let's look at the design of the menu. We're going to do this instead. This, um, see like that. So now we have the little hamburger menu on the side. So you, I mean, you're ready to go. Like you're set. Um, I would make your logo bigger <laughs> for sure. Um, I have this linked up to another. Um, website right now so it's not going to work but you definitely need to make your logo bigger because that is just too teeny tiny for um, what we have happening but you get the basic idea of it so you you have yourself set up here with a website you have your products listed and now all you have to do is get into the marketing side of things and start driving traffic to your website so that people can make a purchase and when somebody does make a purchase, it's going to show up under your orders and um, then you will uh, fulfill your orders through here. Um, you will pull up here on Alibaba. So if you want to buy now, you're just going to click buy now. And Instead of shipping to me, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a new address. And I'm going to ship directly to my customer who gave me their email, their phone number and everything else whenever they checked out and hit confirm and the order will be processed and you'll pay $5.30. They're currently charging me tax on this one because I've not submitted a tax exempt form. You do have the option to submit tax exempt, but um, you don't have to. And then you just pay for it here and then it's going to ship to your customer. And that is it. It's really that simple. So each morning I just get on and check my orders that have come in and I go through and I fulfill each order and that part is done. And if you want it to be completely completely passive, you can actually hire a virtual assistant and have them do that part for you. Okay, so you've set your website, you add your products, you wanna review your regional settings. So in here, you have you know, your store name, you have your email that you're gonna be using. So you're gonna use their subdomain. Now you can go out and buy a domain for not very expensive, but for these types of um, TikTok type products, these trending products, you're not gonna wanna buy a domain name for every single product that you're doing. Now, obviously, if you're doing a more umbrella type website where you think you're gonna sell more than just one item, then you can absolutely go in and you can purchase a domain name. But if you are not doing that, I would just set up new sites every time you have a new product that you're selling because you'll get the hang of it it's pretty quick. So here it's get your gadget.mycompany.site. It's super easy, it's secure, and get your gadget.mycompany.site. So if I click here, it's gonna take me to silicone air fryer, only $10.99, buy now. I'm gonna click there, and once they add it to their bag, then they can go to checkout, and they can simply pay 
it's going to add the shipping in. So they're going to pay $15.99 and get those. They're going to put in their email address. Um, if they click this to keep me up to date on news and exclusive offers, which you're not going to be sending those types of things out. And that's all you have to do. Like that is your website. It's completely set up for you and ready to go. Okay. So now we're talking about marketing and I got, like I said at the beginning, we have never paid for ads to market our businesses. It has always been organic, which means using TikTok. And I know a lot of people are afraid of TikTok and you don't have to use TikTok. I am going to give you a couple of other options that you can use if you don't want to use TikTok, but I cannot say enough good things about TikTok and how it has helped us to grow our businesses because of the reach and the way that their algorithms work. And you do not have to show your face on there. A lot of people think that on TikTok, you have to show your face. You have to be doing these silly dances, that all that kind of stuff. No. Um, so we're going to jump in and I'm going to show you how other businesses have used TikTok to go viral and sell products and how you can do it too without ever showing your face. So the thing you have to look at when you're marketing on TikTok is first you have to set up an account, which is not difficult. It's literally like takes a minute or less. You just go in and you can sign up using your Google or your Apple account, or you can just set up it, set it up using an email and password. And once you have it set up, you do have to come up with a name for your channel, which you can only change your name. I believe it's once every 30 days. So you do want to make sure that whatever name that you go with is something that you can work with for a fairly general um, way of advertising products, obviously with no ads. So something general there, and you're going to set it up at first as a, uh, personal account because you're not allowed to have that link in your bio until you have at least a thousand followers. And so if you have it set up, as just a personal, like a fun account, then you can use all the trending sounds and all those types of things. Before you have the link in your bio, what you can do is you can connect an Instagram ac account. And so what I would do is set up an Instagram account that matches exactly with your TikTok account that is strictly for this business. And so then when people go to your bio, if they see something before you have a thousand subscribers, they can click your Instagram account where then they will be able to go over and purchase it through the link in the bio there. So I, I haven't checked to see if TikTok has gone back to allowing uh, accounts with under a thousand subscribers to have a link in their bio, but they changed that last year and it was kind of frustrating for a lot of smaller uh, accounts because they were using that link in their bio to drive traffic elsewhere. And then once you have a thousand subscribers, then you can switch over to a business account and add that link in your bio. So you just, your, your first goal is to get that TikTok account built up to have a thousand subscribers, a thousand followers so that you can have that link in your bio. So uh, that's a workaround that you can do. So once you've got that set up, then you're just going to start creating videos and uh, showing the products that you are trying to advertise. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of that. So I am sharing my uh, iPhone screen with you to show you a couple of um, different videos. So this first video is a channel that all they do is show trending products and they use the same words on a lot of them. Do you want one? They use the same music in the background on a lot of them. And as you can see, it is just continuing to get the comments day after day after day. I mean, some of these comments are from a week ago, but then some of them are from 20 minutes ago. So this is a product of theirs that went viral, obviously and uh, they have a link in their bio and then they have a website where they sell all of these products now so this is a much more general channel however they are finding great success by just sticking in basically the home goods products type thing um just all little tchotchke type products that everybody wants here's a little like freezer like for like the rolled ice cream or makes cold things turns things into ice i don't even know 
but again, 1.9 million likes on this one. So this May the 7th is when they started posting on this particular one. Then you can see there's comments in July, comments in December. So it has continued to go viral. Not every product that they post goes viral, but they are posting a video a day with these products. Now, the drawback to this is you would either have to have samples of all of these products, or you would need to search on Google or somewhere to find different um, videos of the products in use. Sometimes on Alibaba, or I'm sorry, on AliExpress, sometimes on Alibaba as well, there will be videos of these products that you can use and just turn around and turn those into TikToks. So there's definitely some great options here for creating a whole channel around a bunch of products that fall into a general niche. So here's a really good example of somebody advertising a product that they are selling and they never show their face. So here's another great example of an account that was set up simply to sell one product. Uh, obviously their name is very specific on this TikTok account, which they could go in after 30 days and start uh, advertising a different product, completely change the name of their account and their user handle, delete all these videos and start again. But they would already be set on this account because they've already got that 9,000 and some odd followers. So that's honestly a really great way to do it because then you don't have to build a channel every single time that you have a product. Instead, you can just market one product at a time and go that route. So they created a TikTok called The Heat Comb. And then they created, they ordered one for themselves so that they could test it out. And then they just created videos about the heat comb over and over and over again. And as you can see, they have got a ton of followers, a ton of likes, and they're selling this for $30 wanted to have something more general, then it would be more of like TikTok made me buy it type of a channel where you're just going to constantly be promoting different trending products and you'll grow a following that way, which is what I've seen mostly that people do. Another example of a, a way that you could market on TikTok, focusing on the kayak that I mentioned earlier, and that is creating a channel all about outdoor adventure and you know one of the products you could sell would be the kayaks uh, this would be a little bit more of a specific niche that you're focused on but you could grow an entire following and then you know do trending products that you have found that you like on there and you know you could do a little bit of research with um, pexels.com which I mentioned earlier also to see if you could find some just uh, royalty free video of kayaking and you could then turn around and use either the images and turn them into a video on something like iMovie or Canva, or you can actually go into their video portion and use some of the different videos that they have on there around kayaking and turn those into YouTube videos that then you can turn around and send people to purchase the kayak that you're selling. Again, these are just examples. I'm not saying that these are specific ones that are gonna work for you or not. I'm just showing you how you could go through the process to figure this out. Obviously, you want to choose something that is trending and that is going to take off because that's what ultimately will create success for you. The other thing you could do is to use uh, an AI software like ChatGPT, and you could go in and have it create some ideas for you that you could create videos around. And just simply by typing in and asking it a question, and then it's gonna give you the results for that, and you can then take each of those elements that it's given you and create videos around that. Before we wrap this up on the whole marketing thing, I just want to give you a couple of pointers. Number one is this is not going to happen overnight. Passive income is amazing, but it always takes work at the beginning. And I think the hardest work with this is going to be the marketing because it's pretty easy to do the research. It's pretty easy to figure out some products that you think might sell, but then figuring out how to market it is always the catch, I think, for people. 
And so you just have to give it some time. You have to stay consistent. When I grew my TikTok channel from zero to 25,000 followers in like two months, I did it by posting three times a day and every single day. Now I know that's a lot, but if you wanna grow fast, that's what you've gotta do. Um, that one channel I showed you, I think was posting a single video every single day. You could definitely do that. Uh, but figure out what fits with your groove, what you can do. When I record content, I typically batch my content, meaning I will have a day where I only do recording and I will record a, a whole bunch of YouTube shorts, a whole bunch of then reels can be made from that reels, um, you know, Instagram and Facebook. Um, I can use those on Pinterest as idea pins. So when I batch record, I get a ton of content in one day so and try to do that once or twice a week so that I can have a backlog of videos that are ready to go. And I've got some new videos coming out on things that will make your video editing even easier that I discovered just yesterday. And so I'm going to be sharing those as well in a future short video on YouTube. The other thing I want to tell you is that you definitely can use multiple platforms. And I'm gonna jump in here and show you some other alternatives to using TikTok. But I, you know, people wanna know how we've grown our passive income streams. And since TikTok has been around, that is how we've done it. It is pretty much 90 to 95% of all of our marketing goes through there because it works as a funnel. People see your videos, they click that link in your bio and they are then taken to your website that you want to take them to to make the purchases. So it's a built for you click funnel. TikTok is gonna push your content if you are using trending sounds, if you're using trending hashtags, and if you get a little creative with those videos, you will be set. I do have a video here that you can go watch on my channel about how we grew our TikTok uh, super fast, like in a month to 25,000 followers. So if you want to know how we did that, make sure you go watch that video. Okay, so we've gone through TikTok and how to use it for marketing fairly in depth. And now we're going to look at a few other sites that you can use if TikTok is still just 100% off of the market for you. So you can look at other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest to create a buzz around your product. You can use influencer marketing to reach out to influencers in your niche, ask them to promote your product in exchange for free product. Uh, you just have to be careful of scammers out there for that. Blogging, you can start a blog and create content that is relevant to your product. If you're gonna do that, then you need to use SEO and optimize the website so that you can increase that visibility if you're not using the right keywords and meta tags, it will be hard for customers to find you. You can create videos that showcase your product and post them on YouTube. You can also use email marketing, which this is an older style of marketing, but still very relevant. You can build an email list, or maybe you already have an email list that exists that is in your niche, and you can send out regular newsletters to subscribers promoting your product. A side note on that, you can also use email marketing to promote products that you're selling through ClickBank or Digistore24. Uh, the other thing you can do is giveaways and contests to create excitement around the product that you're selling and that can bring in attention to whatever channel that you're advertising on and get you more followers, more visibility to where in the future you'll be able to sell more products. Last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up is just the business 101 that I promised you at the beginning and that is um, going to be just a little information on how we set up our businesses. This is not tax advice. Um, I highly recommend that you speak with a professional accountant, CPA, tax advisor for this information. I'm just sharing what we have done with our businesses. So um, we did not set up an LLC to start our businesses. We do have one now. Um, you don't have to spend the money on an LLC to start a business like this. You can simply operate as a sole proprietor using your own social security number and starting a business that way. That's what we did. Um, but there are some advantages to having an LLC. So if you want to look into that, I would definitely recommend it. That's why we ended up getting one, um, number one, just for the tax benefits, but also it all, it protects you personally and your personal assets and liabilities. Uh, it separates the business from you. So if, any, if anybody was ever to come after you for some reason, I can't imagine why they would, but if they did, it would be separated and they could not come after your personal assets. So that is one of the reasons to get an LLC. But again, you do not have to have an LLC to start 
selling. You can sell on Etsy. You can sell drop shipping. You can sell um, all different platforms without actually having an LLC to start. So that's one of those common misconceptions I think that people have. Um, taxes, we do hold out all of our taxes throughout the year because we make enough where we have to pay quarterly taxes. When we first started this, we did not. And you actually do have a grace period your first year where uh, if you didn't know that you were going to owe estimated taxes, there's like some sort of grace in there. Um, I don't know the exact details on that, but when you're first getting started, um, you don't really have to worry as much about that until you start making income. And that's when you would wanna to talk to a tax professional and find out how much you should be holding out um, for, you know, from each paycheck that you get. So you will get 1099s at the end of the year from the companies that pay you. They're required to report that. So if you make more than $600 in a year, then um, places like PayPal, uh, Cash App, Venmo, Stripe, all of those different places have to send you a 1099 to tell you how much they paid you so that you can report those on your taxes. So you do have to keep those things in mind. But, um, you know, whenever we first started, we just simply started selling. And then once we started making some money, that's when we talked to a professional, got the LLC set up and got all of our ducks in a row. You don't have to do it that way. That's just how we did it. Uh, because again, it is not required to have that LLC to start selling on any of those platforms. So I hope that little bit of information helps. I know there's a lot of questions out there, but I don't want to dive too deep into uh, that part of it simply because yeah, I'm not a tax professional. So hope that helps. Well, that's it. I hope you stuck with me through this whole video. If you did, I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share with your friends because my goal is to just continue to produce 100% free education to help you be successful in earning passive income from home. I'm Wendy Jo. I'll talk to you later.